Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am very excited because I am finally bringing a island tour video to the channel and it is none other than Kofuku, my first ever island that I made when I started Animal Crossing. I've been a bit attached to this island because it's actually taken me two years to finish. I've restarted it so many times, I've changed the idea of it so many times but I thought, you know what, I'm gonna finish it. Two months ago, I finished making this island and then I put it up as a dream address and now I'm happy to finally be visiting it for you guys. I haven't actually gone back to the island since I saved it as a dream address, so this is gonna be an experience for all of us, which is fun. Let's start off with my flag um, in the right hand side. This is the flag of Kofuku and for those of you who do not know, Kofuku is Japanese for happiness. My idea with this island was that I just put things in it that make me happy. Let's get out the map and you can see what it looks like. So this is the map of Kofuku. This is my dream address at the bottom if you want to visit it. I will also put it in my description below. All my villagers that I have are my dreamies. We've got Maple, Molly, my queen. We've got Ellie, Cleo, Goldie, Cookie, Sprinkle, June, Pokoe and Diana. Let's begin the tour. So as you come out of the airport, you will see two waterfalls side by side with some bamboo lanterns. When you cross the bridge, this is the kind of clearing area of the island. So from here you can go to all sorts of places. Um, if you go north, you can go towards the lake. If you go east, you've got resident services, um, obviously back to the airport, and then over here, which is where we're going to go first, um, through the trees, is my farm. So we go up here, up the ladder, and I'm going to hop over, and then we've got my farm. I was actually really pleased with my farm because I made this farm after I had Animal Crossing burnout and I'm sure anyone who's watching knows what I mean when I say Animal Crossing burnout. I also made an Animal Crossing Instagram account and I was seeing a lot of people's wonderful creations but I was also comparing what I was making to them and then I kind of just stopped playing Animal Crossing for months. And then one day I went back onto Animal Crossing and I decided to make a farm. So I was really pleased with this farm because this is an original design. I took inspiration from a lot of people and that's what I would 100% recommend you do if you have Animal Crossing burnout. Look on Pinterest, look on YouTube. Everyone's got amazing ideas and amazing islands that you can look at and, um, and there's just ideas everywhere really. So yeah, this is my farm. Um, we could go this way, but we don't need to. I'm, I'm gonna come back around this way later. But let's go down for now. And go back to the clearing. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back this way. <laughs> but this time, instead of going down, I'm gonna go straight. And this is gonna take us to my beach peninsula for June. I found June on a Nook Miles dreamy hunt and I wasn't even looking for her, but I saw her and I was like, oh my days, yes, I want her. And I was in the process of making my residential area, which you'll see later on in the tour. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give June her own peninsula because she deserves it. I'm gonna give her her own space, her own private place to just sit back and relax. So I'm really happy with this. Right, if we come out, and where can we go? Let's go up here, up the beach. So this is like a little walkway. Um, and if you go to the left on this rock, it's kind of like a stargazing area. It looks really nice at night time because the star fragments are glowing, but you can just sit down, you know, do I even have to sit down? I do, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, so you can sit down and watch the stars, um, the sunset even. It's just a nice chill place. Um, yeah, I'll keep going. So if we keep going up the, the left-hand side of the beach, there's Pokoe. We've got a little reading area, um, a little picnic area, another 
chill spot really. I didn't really know what to do with this part of my island because I made this towards the end. But I just thought, let me just fling some things together. And someone on TikTok actually told me that to put palm trees down on grass, you need to put the sand path thing down and then put the coconut tree on the grass. I didn't know that. So shout out to um, the person that told me about this. And we've got a little a little town, a little lighthouse and village dollhouse town. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of random when I was making it, but I, I quite liked it in terms of just filling up the space on the rock. Um, so that's what I've got. Let me go down. Oh, I got to go over. If we go this way, this is the other exit slash entrance to the farm, which is perfect because I'm going to go down here. And we can go back to the clearing. Okay, let's go here and we'll circle back around. So this is just a little area where if you have anything in storage that you want to get out near the airport or anything that you've forgotten, you can just use the storage box here, storage shed here. And we go through some trees and then we come back around. Oh yeah, we have a, uh, a tea set here at the top. Can't really get to it unless you have a ladder on you. Um, I just wanted to fill up the space because I just didn't want to empty an empty part of the island. So that's what I put there. But if we come back down this way, we will be at resident services. So this is the clearing here and then we go to the right we've got a little bath here bath area and then we've got residential services hi Luna if we go down there is a another resting spot got quite a few resting spots and chill spots in the island because I really wanted it to be quite laid back um, that's something that I am I'm just a very chill person in general so any spaces where I can relax and drink a cup of tea and watch the sunset is just perfect if we go behind residential services now and we go up the ladder we have a cafe a residential services cafe so um i actually got a huge inspiration from this by C cicada crossing cicada crossing i'm going to link their video in the description but they did a cafe similar to this but it was behind the museum and I hadn't figured out what I wanted to do with my museum just yet so I thought let me just put it behind residential services and I actually really like it. One thing that I did find tricky while I was finishing my island or just decorating it in general was the amount of custom code spots that you have. I know they've given us an additional number of slots with the 2.0 update but it's not enough. We need more. I need more custom codes. I can't fit them all in my pockets. Okay, so let's go further on to the right and continue on from residential services. And we're, before we go up, let's actually go down. I want to show you my other beach area, which I really like. And it is a wedding on the beach. So we've got our DJ over here. We've got our band over here. The dance floor is here. And we've got the bride and groom and some dinner by the beach which I think is really cool and if we come back up this area is again just a space filler but I kind of like it because I wanted to make use of the pagodas I think this is the only pagoda I have on the island and I really really wanted them so I really wanted to make sure that I at least used it once now if we come down from the chill area up there on the cliff and we go even more to the right we can go up this ladder and you'll be able to see um, Able Sisters here with some designs. Uh, this design was done by one of my friends, Obabi. Uh, these are all custom codes as well, not by me, but by other people. So I'll put their links in the description as well if anybody wants to wear them. Okay, if we go away from Able Sisters and we cross over the bridge, we actually also have Nook's Cranny. So, here you can also get out some money from your ABD if you need to buy something from the shop and then you can just go straight in. I'm going to go back to this area because I want to show you one of the biggest features on my island. So if we go through this bamboo pathway we will see a lovely lookout of my lake. So this is Lake Kofuku. It fills up literally the whole centre part of my island. So I was inspired by Froggy Crossing to make this lake and I will link her video in the description below if anybody wants to check that out. 
But yeah, this is my lake. Um, I made it pretty big because I wanted it to be a, a pretty big view from here. So like it kind of looks like a infinity, infinity lake or infinity pool because you can't see the end. That's the effect that I was going for. Right, moving on. Molly! Oh, my queen. Okay, anyway, <laughs> if we go down here, uh, we've got a little waterfall feature and this river leads into the bridge area that you use to cross over to get from Able Sisters to Nook's Cranny. I was also inspired by someone's island on YouTube. I completely forgot which one it was. I will put it in the description below because I know Lex Play actually visited their island when she was doing the uh, 15 idea type videos that she normally does. And then if we continue to the right, I'm not gonna go up there just yet. I will go down here. This is my flower garden. This I'm kind of proud of because when I first started playing Animal Crossing, I made it my mission to breed every single flower in the game. And it took so long and so many notes, but I did it. And then the downside to that is that I ended up having loads and loads of flowers on the side of my beach and not knowing what to do with them. So as I got closer to finishing the game, I decided to make a flower garden and I love it. And if we continue down from the flower garden, we've got a little picnic area here, but we also have, which I think is one of my, one of my favorite builds of the island, is a beach bakery. So we've got a farm here in case we need to get some ingredients to make pumpkin pie. We've got sugar cane, wheat for bread, pancakes, all of that stuff. And then we have our bakery here. Uh, we've got our rubbish back there and any boxes that we need to throw in the recycling. I made it so if anyone came over, I could come back here and take their order. And then I can go back here into the kitchen and make the order. All right, let's come out of the bakery. And we've got Capin here. Oh, Capin's not here. Well, this is the pier. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what is upstairs. And before I do that, let me just show you this amazing view <laughs> because I absolutely am in love with it. I got inspiration from Pinterest posts, but majority of this is me. Let me get a little picture. Maybe use it for the thumbnail or something. Right, let's go up the steps. And if we go up the steps, we will see my museum. So this is a little plaza area for the museum. We've got our ABD if we need money to go to Roost, the Roost Cafe. We've got our story shed here and some bench areas that we can sit on and just chill. We've also got Stonehenge in the back, uh, some artifacts on display that couldn't fit in the museum because Blavers has got so many things. And yeah, if you want to go into the middle of the cherry blossoms, we can. We just have to do a little gym screechy. There we go. This area is honestly and truly, I just didn't really care for it enough to decorate it fully. So I just made it another chill spot with some star fragments. And if we go up the right hand side of the beach, we've got one of my other favorite builds, which is a beach cinema. We've got the projector screen and we can sit down on the pillows and watch a movie. And if we wanna order some savory food and get a drink, we can order it from here. And if we want some sweet treats and some popcorn, we can order it from here. If we go all the way around, we've got a very secret beach. But this is a secret beach that I made for Red. Um, unfortunately, the ship is not here today, which is okay because um, when I saved it as a dream address, I'm sure I saved it with the ship there, but it's not there. Anyway, that's okay. And if we go up these steps here, we... Oh, there's a secret ABD here, actually. Ah! Where is it? Oh, okay, I thought it was making me out to be a liar. If we go through here, we will come to my campsite. And yes, I'm glad that I saved it with somebody actually staying in the campsite. That makes me very happy. Wait, hold on a minute. Ah, it's me! <laughs> Oh my gosh. This is my campsite. We've got, I, I purposely made it with loads of weeds, look, very messy, very cluttered, because that's how I envision a campsite to be. I've got two more sections to show you and then we are done. And the next section I have to show you is if we go all around the lake, right to the back, 
of the island, we will enter my residential area. So I made sure this is a double inclined because I wanted to put most of my villagers in this area as well. If we go to the right, we've got Cleo's house and she's got her own garden here. We've got Pokoe's house and her garden here, nice and relaxing and peaceful. Then we've got Ellie's house and her garden and I gave her a little farm just because. And if we go to the left hand side, oh actually I'm not going to go there just yet because that leads into the next section. I'm going to go up and then I'm going to go to the left. So this is Diana's house and Diana's garden, very fancy just like her. And then this is Cookie's house and I'm really happy with her garden because I gave her two gardens. I gave her a front yard and a backyard. I gave her a band so that she can practice and make music all she wants. I gave her some pink star fragments because she's pink. She's also got some dogs here. I think that's quite funny actually because <laughs> Cookie's actually a dog. There's a little middle area, just a shrine here. Uh, again, I just didn't want to have empty space, so that's why I made that. And if we go over here, we've got Molly's house and this is her garden. She loves reading, she loves books, so I thought might as well give her her own library in her garden. And then if we go over here, you will see my house. My house, my garden, pretty basic. I didn't really care about it that much, I can't lie to you. This pipe actually leads to the airport. And I put it here because whenever I would come back from the airport, I would wanna go straight home. So I put the pipe there. Let me show you and then we can go back to my house. Just so you can see where I come out when I go into the pipe, right by the farm and then I can go straight to the airport if I need to, or straight to resident services, or anywhere. All right, let's go back to my house because I want to show you my house. My house has actually had a lot of changes since I started playing the game, but I'm excited to show you what it looks like now. This is my living room. It hasn't actually changed much since I first made it. Um, I wanted to keep it cream and quite open got my TV and my fireplace, my switch and some pretzels and a cup of tea. I tried to make it as cozy as possible but yeah this is my living room. So this is the bathroom and it's kind of, it's not exactly what I wanted it to look like. I had a lot more visualized for this bathroom but I did a sponsored video with a brand and I made it Animal Crossing based so I had to redesign my, basically my top four rooms so the bathroom was one of the rooms that I redesigned for this and I just left it, I just left it how it was and if we go to the left we have, we have the kitchen so <laughs> Again, this was one of the rooms that I changed for the um, sponsored video, but my kitchen never looks like this. It was not yellow. It was a cream kitchen with a bit of bamboo here and there and a silver kitchen. And it just looked really homey. I mean, this looks homey too, I can't lie. It's a bit bright. <laughs> it's a bit bright on the eyes, but I don't mind it because I'm rarely in here anyway. So yeah, I just left it as it was. Okay, now we're gonna go to my favorite room in the house before we go upstairs and to the basement. So this is my favorite room in my whole house. Da -da -da. It's my gaming and streaming room. Um, I love it, I just love it so much. And it's so funny because my favorite color is not even pink. My favorite color is red, but I just love it. This is just a beautiful room. And obviously we have to have the six monitor set up because it is essential to live in life <laughs> with a six monitor set up. It's just so necessary. So this is my bedroom and I am so happy that I was able to make it because it took me so long to find the Imperial set. I was looking for it for ever and it took me so long to find it. It also took me so long to find these dark seats as well they i don't know what it is they're like so rare but i just i knew i wanted them and i wasn't gonna rest until i found them okay last room in the house let's go so this is the basement again this is one of the rooms that i changed for the sponsored video but i actually ended up keeping it because i really like it i'm not a plant person i will confess i don't have any plants i don't really care for plants that much but they look really nice in Animal Crossing <laughs> and I don't have to water them. 
but yeah this is my greenhouse basement type vibes um i really 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 love the moroccan furniture it just looks so nice but yeah this is my greenhouse basement okay so that is my house you have seen every room in the house and now we're gonna go outside to finish off the tour oh it's night time wait hold on a minute I didn't know that time progresses normally in a dream island. Oh, well, I was not aware. Now let's go to the left-hand side of the residential area, which is what I didn't want to show you because it actually leads into the next section of my island. So this is Goldie's house and this is her garden. She likes reading too, so I gave her a little book. And this is Sprinkle and Maple's house. So they have a joint garden, mainly for the fact that I um, kind of blocked off Maple's garden to, <laughs> to make a rock garden. So I just made sure that she'd share something with Sprinkle so she'd at least get some sort of garden area. Uh, this is just a resting place, another chill spot. I didn't want to just leave it empty. So just another area to fill in the space. And if we go here, this is my rock garden. It took me so long to make. It took me so long to make, I almost cried every time I had to restart the island and there wasn't a rock there. It took so long to do, but it was worth it. It was worth it. So I got my four rocks and I know that you can you can have more, but I didn't want any more. I just wanted a little one, just a little rock garden, you know. I love it. If we go down here, this is like a chill spot. Again, another chill spot. I swear I have like 55,000 chill spots on this island. But anyway, that's what it's all about. It's about being chill and being happy. Um, but this is my little chill spot, river, lake, pond area. Um, you'll see how it links in a second. I'm just going to go round. If we go down here, we'll actually um, end up at the lake again. Um, we've just got a little, a little pass until we reach our outdoor library. So I have quite a lot of reading babes on my island. I've got Molly and Maple and Goldie. They love reading, so I wanted to make a library area for the three of them. So this is what I was talking about before when I said that the little lake area over there connects because I made a land bridge, just a small one. I've seen a lot of people make really big land bridges and they look so nice, but I didn't have any space on my island when I was making this. So I thought, yeah, we're just gonna keep it as is. And if we go here, this is the last part of the tour and one of my most cherished. Um, unfortunately, my nan actually passed away last year, December. So I made a memorial for her in the game just as a way to kind of remember her, you know? Um, yeah, my nan was my best friend. So I just wanted to give her something in the game. One of my favorite games. Playing this game brought me a lot of joy and so did she. So I wanted to honor her in that, but yeah. That is it, that is actually everything. You have all seen everything on my island. But yeah, that is it. So yeah, that is it. That's the end of my island tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am looking forward to creating my next Animal Crossing island, which is called London. It's actually gonna be a city core island. My first time doing one, so I'm pretty excited for that. But yeah, if you have any questions for me about my island or you want to know any specific custom codes i can give them to you i will link the ones that i told you about in the description below i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening wherever you watch me from in the world and i'll see you all in my next youtube video bye